It's been tough at times to follow the Gilbert Goons and Southeast Valley Youth violence cases for a couple of reasons. One, there are so many moving parts. And two, well, it's tough to hear about kids who have been so blessed, given every chance in life, who've decided to use their time on earth to terrorize their neighbors, becoming so violent so early in their lives. It's been shocking to hear about the sheer size of the problem. Gilbert police alone have made 41 arrests related to group teen violence. And shocking to hear the claims that some parents knew what their children were up to, dealing drugs and beating up kids en masse, and sent those kids out of town to avoid legal consequences instead of turning them in. But when I thought I was done being shocked by Southeast Valley youth violence, Gilbert Assistant Police Chief Jim Basegli dropped this at a community meeting last night. In connection with a previously unreported assault that allegedly took place last September, police had arrested a 17-year-old girl and charged her with one count of assault, one count of disorderly conduct, and charged a girl with the Class 3 felony of aggravated robbery. Maybe I was so shocked because I wasn't following the youth violence issue with a magnifying glass. Because somebody told me this morning that this girl may have been named as a defendant in one of those lawsuits brought by victims' parents. But I hope I never learn to not be shocked by the type of things I've heard surrounding these cases. And I don't think it's sexist to say that it's shocking to hear of a girl involved in group beatdowns and robberies, because that's not the norm. Listen, I won't make the sexist comment, she must have done it for the affection of a boy, but I will say that she likely did it to get the attention of her peers, and she was hanging out with bad boys. This kind of scares me. Imagining who will be knocking on my door in the years to come to take my daughters out. Good thing I still have a few more years to instill in them that no matter what, you take the side of the weaker person, the person who is being attacked, and never join in with gang mentality, even if a cute boy or a cute girl thinks it's a good idea. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.